Hey everyone, Michael Bodner here with another Tesla Tunity, and I can't believe it, but it's almost been a year since I got you ready for version 9 of the Tesla software. If you remember, I brought to you some Y adapters that you could use to charge your phone with something like the Jetta wireless pad, and also have a plug-in for the Sentry Motor Tesla Cam USB drive. And it's worked well, but to be fair, it's a little messy. I've got wires everywhere. Not to worry, because I've got a must-have accessory for you from our friends at Jetta, who again made the wireless pad. Well, now we've got the Jetta USB hub. So I'm going to show you all about this product, um, what it does, why it's so great, and uh, come along with me and I'll show you how it works. Before we jump in and take a look at the Jetta USB Hub, I did want to extend a sincere thank you to the Jetta team. They sent this unit to me as a review unit so that I could share my thoughts and feedback with each of you. As you can see from the front, it's going to take our two USB Type-A ports beneath the charging pad, and it's going to turn them into two more USB Type-A ports, as well as two USB Type-C ports. In addition, you'll notice there's a secret compartment. To open it, push in on either of the corners in the bottom. Remove the door and you'll see a magnet with double-sided stick tape on the other side. That's there in case you want to use a solid state drive for your Tesla Cam backup storage. In my case, I use a really small and inexpensive SanDisk thumb drive. I'll have a link in the description down below. You can pick one up on Amazon. If we remove the USB cable, you'll see that yes, there's a hidden additional USB Type-A port. So that's where we're going to plug in that SanDisk thumb drive I just mentioned. Again, since we're not going to install a solid state drive, we can go ahead and remove that magnet, but we can keep it for future use in case we change our mind. You can go ahead and close the secret compartment. It's held on with a magnet, so it just snaps right into place. So here we go. Out with the old and in with the new. We're going to disconnect our gaming controller, take out the two Y adapters that are plugged into the Jetta wireless pad, and uh, we could go ahead and plug in the two USB cords from the Jetta wireless pad right into the Jetta USB hub, but I've got a different idea. Let's go ahead and take out the Jetta wireless pad really quick. And on the back, you'll notice it uses a micro USB cable. Well, for a really low cost, we can pick up a micro USB cable that uses USB-C on the other end. Again, I'll have a link in the description down below to make it easier for you. But now you can see that I've got one USB-A and one USB-C cable for the Jetta wireless pad. Let's go ahead and feed those back through and push it into place. All right, now lift the wires out of the way and we're gonna go ahead and tuck the Jetta USB hub into its spot. You'll notice it's really snug and that is on purpose. The intent here is for this product to look like it came with the car. So just go ahead and wiggle it back into place. There's really only one spot it can go because those two USB ports on the back have to plug into place. Once they're in, you can go ahead and plug in your wireless charging pad. So again, USB-A on the left, and there's our USB-C on the right. That leaves one USB-A on the left and one USB-C open on the right. So you guessed it, now we can plug in our game controller and leave it permanently plugged in. It's ready to go anytime we hit a supercharger and wanna play a game for a couple minutes. Drop down the wireless charging pad, close the tray, and that's it, you're all set. 